Our next awardee is Professor Tatsu Ito for seminar contributions in microwave and millimeter wave technology and electrical engineering education. Tatsu received his PhD in electrical engineering from Illinois after conducting what was considered groundbreaking graduate research on the analysis of submillimeter wave ratings. He has since proven to be one of the most prolific and innovative minds in the field. He established one of the top microwave millimeter wave programs in the world while on the faculty of the University of Texas at Austin. Later, he made UCLA a powerhouse in the field of electromagnetics and its applications to antennas and microwave millimeter wave engineering. It pleases me greatly to know that while building those programs, he looked for and found the right talent in outstanding Illinois graduates, Hao Ling and Yaya Ramit, Ramat Samir. A prolific scholar and innovator, Tatsu holds 16 patents, has, has written 43 books or book chapters, and has produced 400 journal publications and over 820 refereed conference presentations. His recent contributions on the applications of metamaterials for innovative designs of microwave, millimeter wave devices and circuits continue to be impressive and to shape the field. As busy as he must be as a professor and endowed chair with the UCLA Department of Electrical Engineering, he still makes time for Illinois and many professional organizations, serving as editor to publications and providing leadership and service as needed. His accomplishments have been noted with many awards, including the IEEE MTT Microwave Career Award, the European Microwave Association Outstanding Career Award, the IEEE Nikola Tesla Award, the Third Millennium Medal, the Microwave Theory and Techniques Distinguished Educator Award, the Japan Microwave Prize, and the Distinguished Alumnus Award from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering here at Illinois. So it gives me great pleasure and honor to invite Professor Tatsu Ito to receive his award. I still don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I'm very honored to be included in the list of these distinguished alumni, that's for sure. Uh, people said it's best of best being, being, being recognized by his alumni, uh, alma mater, the biggest honor people can afford to find. Anyway, <coughs> coming growing up in a big city, <coughs> Champaign Havana is a unique place. There's nothing, nothing, nothing else but study. <laughs> Illinois occupies a special place in my heart, not, because, not only because they provide the best education possible, but I also met my future official wife on campus. Anyway, the working and learning environment is phenomenal. The faculty consists, I interact with, consists of very unique characteristics, sometimes controversial, well, sometimes complimentary. But for instance, my advisor is very, very uh, go get the go type of approach. On the other hand, another professor provided paternal environment, just like a so called Chinese big man can provide. In any case, in little step, this kind of controversial, com complementary environment serves best education. So, what I learned throughout my career is to look at the problem from 
physical understanding point of view. Okay. So I convey this message to many of my graduate students, which comes from more than 70 now. Let, let, let me conclude my short speech by saying some controversial statement. Look at the problem in the analog aspect, even for digital problem. Thank you very much. <laughs>